it's Meg. So today I'm going to show you how to get these loose cute curls. I honestly get asked all the time how I do them. So today I'm finally going to show you how to do it. Alright, so I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, so this is my hair last night before I washed it. As you can see, there's still curls from the night before. Okay, so now I'm just brushing my hair, getting rid of all the knots and tangles and making sure it's nice and straight before I start braiding it. Okay, so here I am using the Joico um, liquid protein. Now, if you don't have that, any leave-in conditioner will work. You're just looking for something that will help moisturize the hair. Now I'm just using the Indie Hair Polish. It's a cream and what it's going to do is Hope pull the curl for tomorrow and it's also going to make my hair nice and shiny and silky. So I'm just going to focus on my ends and running that product right through them. Um, I'm not really focused on my roots because really the curl is only going to be at my ends anyway. So now I'm just parting my hair into two sections. Don't worry about making them even. So once you have your two sections you can start braiding. I find if I get some thinner and thicker pieces it gives it a more natural look. Again, don't worry about trying to be neat, the messier the better because honestly you're, you're going to bed with this style and it's already going to be messy by the time you wake up. So as you saw, I had the section in two sections, starting at the top, I was braiding as a French braid until I had no pieces to add to the braid. Once that happened, I just continued as a normal braid. So at this point, just continue braiding until you have either no more hair to braid or it gets too hard to braid. And then once you're done, just secure it with the hair elastic. Now once you've done that, you're just going to continue on the other side, again taking the top section and braiding like a French braid. As you can see, I'm taking my three sections and I'm about to start adding more pieces. Again, don't worry about trying to be neat. It's not a fashion statement at this point, we're just trying to make the shape of a loose curl and that way it'll be nice and pretty for tomorrow. So once you're finished braiding, just finished by hairspraying the hair, I'm using Indie Hair Super Firm. But really, as long as you're using any hairspray, just to hold the hair and make sure it doesn't go frizzy by tomorrow. And there you have it. So now we're going to leave these wonderful braids in until tomorrow morning. So this is my hair when I woke up. As you can see, it's a little frizzy and it's starting to fall out in a couple places, but that's okay. What we're going to do is now just take out those elastics and start separating the hair. At this point all I'm doing is just tousling my hair a little just to blend in some of those pieces that weren't sitting right and it gives it more of a natural look. Now to finish off this look I'm just going to hairspray my hair just to give it a little bit more holds and that way those curls last throughout the day. And there you have it. Cute loose curls as simple as that. Now as another option, what I like to do is just get my flat iron and straighten out my bangs because I find some days they just didn't curl right in the night and I just like having a nice smoother shiny look. So it depends on the day, it depends on how they sit and it just depends on your preference. So if that's what you want to do then go for it. Now 
after I do that, I just like to spray my hair one last time, especially my bangs, and that way they stay throughout the day. Alright, and here's the finished look. So that was how I got my simple loose curl look. Um, it's like 9 o'clock at night right now, and as you can see, the curl is still intact, which is awesome. So, until next time, bye guys!